the the iconic private equity firm that you co-founded uh, obviously took in many, many, many businesses, many of which at one point or another um, were extremely good businesses, which you know either led to the exact reason that it, you know you went out and acquired, or the reverse, you, you know, right. were great, but then you know, do you do you feel you do you feel the delusion that probably happens at every White House, Republican and Democrat, over the last hundreds of years, is a similarity to what you see in businesses, where businesses oftentimes get so cocky at the executive level, they're misunderstanding what's happening at the consumer level, and that ultimately leads to their demise. Well, the president of the United States and the people who work in the White House are not unlike chief executives. People tend to tell them what they want, that they, they expect they want to hear. So they don't hear the bad news. Secondly, when they read about bad news or they hear about it, they think if only the people knew as much as I know, they wouldn't say these bad things about us. And eventually they'll figure out that actually I know more than them. But it doesn't really always work out that way. So in the business world, when you buy a company on day one, it always looks perfect or you wouldn't be buying it. But then eventually you realize you may have made a mistake. The world went, 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 went against your thoughts about where it was going. And if, when, when the time comes to make a change in the CEO, you typically waited too long because you didn't believe things could be as bad as they turned out to be. And in the buyout world, probably 50% of the time you have to replace the CEO who you once thought was wonderful. And it just works out that way. And sometimes you can't anticipate things. For example, let's suppose you were an investor in AMC or Marriott or Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, you would say, these are great businesses, they're booming. And then the pandemic comes along. Well, who do you blame? Well, you don't blame yourself. Usually you blame somebody else. I mean, at that level, David, I'm sure, you know, uh, I'd love to get your perspective. That's why you're here. Th that's one of the true rare occurrences where it's so macro, so unbelievably macro that that become, that, that's one of those rare moments because I think accountability is everything. But those, that is one of the true rare moments where you can chalk up a macro circumstance or no? Well, you can you don't you don't blame yourself as much for it. Uh, you tend to have a tendency to say, "Well, that's somebody else made that mistake. I'm just going to try to make the best I can of it." Uh, but there are sometimes you make mistakes. You hire the CEO, and then you find out later he's a good time CEO, and the economy slows down. He's not a bad time CEO. Yeah, I think a ton about wartime and peacetime generals. 